good reason. The Big Apple is ripe with opportunity and options. It has around 20,000 restaurants and loads of spectacular sights to choose from. So this weekend, I'm breaking out the map and picking out the best. And my Friday starts with a little adventure. A cab ride out of Manhattan and straight into Brooklyn. 66 Water Street. I'm headed to Dumbo, a Brooklyn neighborhood found just on the other side of the Brooklyn Bridge. I have a whole evening planned around three places, all within walking distance. My first stop is a sweet one, Jacques Therese Chocolate Shop on Water Street. Jacques actually built his retail store right next door to his chocolate factory, so his sweets are made and sold fresh every day. It's a great place to go for a little chocolate rush on a Friday afternoon. Can I take a couple of chocolates? Oh, please do. We encourage you. That's one of the things I love about this place is that they encourage you to taste the chocolate before you buy it. There are dozens of colorful and tasty choices. Let's see. Let's try the love book. And let me try, oh, the wicked one. Mmm. Mm. The love book. It's key lime inside. It's like a creamy cho white chocolate shell on the outside and this bright citrusy flavor on the inside. All right, I gotta try my wicked little chocolate here. Jock is famous for this one. Okay, I think this is my absolute favorite. Dark chocolate and a little chili pepper kick inside. Lots to choose from, but one of my favorites is the mixed bag of nuts with white and dark chocolate. I'll grab one of these for dessert for later. Just around the corner, there's a great place for a cocktail, and if you time it right, you can even catch your sunset. The River Cafe is nestled right under the Brooklyn Bridge. It's been a signature New York restaurant since 1977. Known as a place for special occasions, Dinner here is a splurge, so come at sunset for a cocktail and a snack on the patio, and a postcard perfect view of Manhattan. Look at this view. What a treat. Since I'm looking at Manhattan, I'm going to drink a Manhattan. And then I just need a little something to nibble on. I think I'll have a Scallop City Do you know what you'd like? Sure. I'll have a Manhattan okay. with scotch. Perfect. And I will have their scalp ceviche. At the River Cafe, the ceviche is served on the half shell. Dry tailor-made scallops that have been marinated in tomato and lime juice are crisscrossed with cooked sea beans. The sea beans are actually edible plants found in salt marshes. The final touch, a little tomato right on top. As for the Manhattan, it's built with a splash of bitters, sweet vermouth, scotch, and a maraschino cherry. Fantastic. Look at that. Enjoy. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you. The ceviche is gorgeous. Mm. There's a nice crunch from those seeds that look like a little asparagus. This is delicious. Just a little taste of the highlight before a down-to-earth dinner. I'm gonna finish my cocktail and appetizer, and then I'm gonna go up the street for my favorite pizza. For that, you walk just half a block to Old Fulton Street and Grimaldi's Pizza. You're in for a treat, because not only is Grimaldi's my favorite pizza, but it's voted New York City's best pizza. And as you can tell by the line, they don't take reservations, but believe me, it's worth the wait. Coal ovens dominated New York pizzerias in the early 20th century because coal was a cheaper fuel source than wood. The added benefit was that people loved the distinct smoky charred flavor the coal gave the crust. I am going to have your margarita pizza. Don't even think of ordering a pizza by the slice here, because you can't. And be sure to hit the ATM on the way over, because it's cash only, no credit. When it comes to the pies, they keep it simple. Pizza 
makers whip up the dough daily from scratch. The pies are topped with fresh mozzarella and a sauce that gets a bittersweet kick from San Marzano tomatoes. Then they slide it into coal ovens, which bake the pizza at a scorching 950 degrees Fahrenheit. It's so hot that it only takes four to five minutes before the pies are ready to eat. Thank you so much. Thank you.